for me. I am a very interactive person, so um, I would love for you guys to interact back with me. So, good morning, Pay Sisters! Good morning! Yay! That's so much better. Um, thank you, Miss Gordon, for um, inviting me to be here this morning. As she said, my name is... My name is Tressetta Alexander, and I am a former PACE intern, um, social work intern. I interned here um, in the year 2013-2014, and I wanted to share um, a little bit of my story with you all. So first of all, um, like Ms. Gordon said, I am a survivor, but I'm not just a breast cancer survivor. I am a sex abuse survivor. I am a domestic violence survivor, I'm a single parent survivor, um, and for those uh, people in the room, the counselors and whatnot, who have been through this journey, I'm also a college degree survivor. Um, they know what that means, and hopefully one day you will too. And now I'm a breast cancer survivor. So on May 14th of 2014, I got the call that um, I have breast cancer. Nobody wants to get that call, but I got that call and what happened was I ended up having four surgeries over the span of just 15 months. Breast cancer is a very common story among women, not just in the U.S., but around the world. Every two minutes, a woman in the U.S. is getting that same call that I got. Every two minutes. It is the most common cancer among women in the U.S. And it's a scary thing. And one of the things that I knew when I heard that, when I heard those words, was that I could not go into this journey fearful. I could not go in thinking that I was going to lose. I could not go in thinking that this was going to take my life. I had to go in with the mindset that I was going to overcome no matter what they, um, what, no matter what my doctor said to me. And so um, growing up, I always had a fear of heights. I was definitely afraid of being um, in high places. I couldn't even stand on top of one of these chairs and look down without getting a little dizzy. And so I decided that I was going to try and conquer that fear because I knew that if I overcame something that that would help me or help equip me for the journey that lied ahead. So I decided to go on my 41st birthday, I decided to go down to the Tallahassee Museum and go zip lining. <laughs> that was crazy scary y'all, crazy scary because you're 20 feet up in the air and um, the challenges that you go through when you're going through that course get harder and harder. You have less and less support. And so I went by myself. I didn't have a support team. Um, I just got up there and did my thing. I was super scared the whole way through, but I was determined that I was gonna finish the course. And I did, and it felt absolutely amazing because I knew when I got down from up there in the trees that I had faced that fear that this thing, breast cancer, wasn't going to define who I was going to be. It wasn't going to define what my life was going to be like. I kicked fear in the face on that day. And I knew that without a shadow of a doubt, I was going to come out on the other side. No matter what happened, I was going to come out on the other side victorious. And so something that you guys really need to understand, um, whether you're facing a journey like mine where you dealing with um, a diagnosis like breast cancer, whether you're dealing with um, a situation um, like I did with sexual abuse or domestic violence or just something just that's just challenging in life or an addiction, you're gonna have to face your fear. Fear is always gonna go be with you. It's never gonna leave you, it's always gonna be there. Every single time you decide to do something that's going to stretch you or push your boundaries. And so um, just recently, I was challenged by someone to write a letter to fear. And I'd like to share that letter with you this morning. It reads this way. Dearest fear, I'm about to go beyond great. I acknowledge you will be with me on this journey. 
I understand that your job is to induce panic in me in this journey. You do your job real well. <laughs> I can appreciate that. However, my job is to move forward in spite of your presence. Having said that, I need to let you know the rules. You cannot touch my steering wheel, but you can ride. You cannot touch my radio, but you can ride. You cannot provide me with any directions, but you can ride. I finally know that I was meant for greatness. I was made for this moment. I was created for this specific time and space to have a lasting impact on the world. I recognize that when you're around, I'm heading in the right direction because you only show up when boundaries are being pushed. You only show up when limits are being stretched. You only show up when the reward is great and the risk is small. So buckle up because this is going to be a wildly successful ride. Let's go. <laughs> letter. Fear is always going to be around, but you are the one that can decide how it impacts your life. There were three main things that um, I talked about fear riding on the journey with me, but not being able to. The first one was that it couldn't touch the steering wheel, meaning that it was not going to take control over the direction that I was going to take in my life. I also said that it could not touch the radio because I didn't want, um, I want to make sure that I'm constantly feeding myself positive information or things that are going to build me up and encourage me and fear is going to always tell you how small you are, that you can't do it and you can't make it. And so I didn't want it to change my programming or my radio station. And the last one was that it can't provide me in a direction because fear is always going to tell you to go back. Fear is always going to tell you to stay where you are, not to move beyond where you are. Um, where you currently are. And so I didn't want it providing me any directions on the journey that I'm taking because I am in control of this journey. And you are too. And so I want to leave you with this. I want to um, challenge each of you and hopefully um, the teachers will allow you to do this as an assignment before this week is out. Write your own letter to fear. Tell fear the place that it has in your life that you're going to place in it, recognizing that it's gonna be there, but you're in control of what it says to you and how it um, interacts with your life. So I challenge you today to face fear and go anyway, go anyway. And I wanna leave you with my, before I close, I wanna, it's not really how you start. We, I have kind of a rough start to life. But it's not about how you start, it's how you finish this journey called life. Mm -hmm. You're in control of how it finishes. And so I wanna leave you as I close with my personal motto, which is live on purpose, pursue your passion, and unleash your power. Thank you all so much for having me here today, and I hope that you guys will embrace this journey called life. Woo! Thank you.